Hello, welcome to this video where we will be unboxing and looking at a first review of the brand new, all new, Shenhao TZ45 Model C, which we just got. This is a brand new sample. Um, Shenhao or in the US uh, in the past week for the uh, PPE show, and uh, we had a chance to look at this, and this is our brand new sample model. So let's see, uh, let's see what we have. <laughs> So, uh, the uh, <clears throat> so the uh, TZ45C has a completely reworked uh, front extension, and the base is also different with the uh, rear being able to track on a different type of track than the B model, certainly different than the C model. Let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, also, new style ground glass. Uh, which we think is brighter and slightly sharper than previous models. Uh, and so let's open it up and see what we find. Another new thing is Shen Hao is now running cameras with optional red bellows, and this one is just fabulous. The material is the same type of material that they use on the black bellows. Uh, we're fans of Shen Hao bellows, but uh, this is real nice. Um, now, just off the top of my head, I'm looking for a marker here for the uh, zero set position, but maybe we're just missing it right now, but we'll get it. So, okay, let's see. So this is an ebony style locking lever for the front shift, which is also for the front swing, uh, which is a new design. Uh, kind of locks a little too far, might need an adjustment. These are really easy to adjust judging from uh, previous models. And here there is the uh, front slider uh, lock, it's similar to a Nagaoka style, and you do get that extra centimeter of extension here. Uh, but let's just leave it right about here. Shen Hao Seiya's camera has 40 more millimeters of uh, bellows travel and a bellows draw, and we'll look at that in just a second. Um, all right, so uh, Shen Hao say that the entire front of the camera was reworked to be better, and it really does look different and somewhat improved. Uh, noticeably, the camera is much lighter than uh, the previous uh, TZ45. Um, I don't have the exact number, but we can check it. The uh, controls feel as smooth. The TZ is the most refined of the Shen Hao models. Uh, it really is a very kind of fine-tuned type of camera. Uh, regrettably though, the uh, extension doesn't track backwards, but luckily on this camera we can track the rear forward, which is a huge improvement, a huge bonus over previous models. Um, and one of the unique features that this camera has, this is also the same on the HDX Shen Hao camera, is the ability to have a rear rise, which is similar to something that Ebony offers. Uh, this is a fixed rear rise with no tilt, uh, so whenever you do a rise and a tilt, you're going to have to adjust the focus again, uh, but that's not a big deal. The rear shift mechanism, uh, sorry, the rear uh, swing mechanism is very robust and very easy to use. It's very smooth and tight, and it locks very nicely without a lot of pressure. There's no rear shift on this camera, which is, uh, again, regrettable, but uh, out of all the movements that we have, this camera has pretty much everything you need, with the rear rise being probably one of the most useful movements on a view camera. Um, and like all the Shen Hao cameras, we have a graph lock back with very nice fitments and a very nice piece of glass and a good tension spring. One thing that we've seen as we checked out this camera uh, just now is that this camera has a massive front shift. It's just around five centimeters in each direction. On a front shift, that's probably the biggest shift that you can get on such a small camera, and it's an extraordinarily useful uh, movement when you're composing without having to take the camera off the tripod or readjust the tripod when you can do these kinds of movements. Also, massive front swings. Uh, 
and coupled with the shift, uh, you really have uh, an on-axis tilt and shift. This is really um, very useful. Uh, another thing that we like about this camera is that the hand strap is uh, generally improved far better than the previous uh, straps from Shenhao, which only had a fairly limited lifespan. Um, and as always, the wood finish is phenomenal. You have a nice spirit level built into the back here, which is, again, very useful. Um, the uh, front uh, struts have an auto lock spring, which kind of lock it into place. The rear doesn't, so you do have to um, pull the struts in or out to move the camera off. Um, and let's just see how we close it. This seems to be pretty simple. I'm just going to loosen all the nuts. And I'm going to press down on the struts to bring the front standard in, and it really smoothly slides all the way back. Um, you really don't have to do much to it. Unlock the rear struts. Now, to, as I said, you're going to have to pull those struts out in order to bring the camera in to remove them from the zero position uh, and of course I have the camera set at a small rise so I'm just going to bring that back down and lock it in. Let's see. It should close right up and sure enough it does. Very nice locking latch. The camera is very nice all around. Small comp compact system. Uh, one of the main advantages uh, that this system would have is that uh, this new design will enable the user to keep a lens mounted on the camera. There's this extra space here and uh, let's just load a really small lens uh, that we have here and see uh, how we fare. As you can see, the lens is still mounted in there, and there's a nice gap between the lens and the bottom of the bed, uh, and the camera is closing very nicely and smoothly, so uh, this is a huge advantage for a field camera to be able to carry the lens while it's mounted inside uh, the body, not having to take off a lens, and even uh, a lens with a Copa 1 shutter, this is a Symar 150, so it's not a very small lens, I mean, it's bigger than... Uh, your average 150 4x5 and so this is another very nice uh, feature that this new design has uh, so overall we're very happy with this new uh, TZ45C um, and uh, it's going to be immediately available on our website uh, www.catlabs.info please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for uh, more reviews and more videos uh, we'll be reviewing each and every of the new Shenhao model cameras that we're going to be getting here uh, very soon Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.